Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how AMZ Analyzer allows you to use in-application filtering features to filter and find profitable items in your lists right within the program without the need to export lists to Excel and be an Excel guru every time a list needs to be processed. Uh, so we'll jump right into it. Right here I've, I have a sample list that I've loaded into the program and I'm going to filter it right within the program. Uh, first and foremost, when you hover your mouse over any of these columns, you will notice a small filter icon. You can click on that filter icon and it will give you filtering options for each uh, column. I'm gonna start with sales rank and I'm going to do a custom filter. And what I like to see in my sales rank is that um, first and foremost, it's not zero. So is not null. And I like to see sales ranks that are less than or equal to call it 100,000. As you can see, that quickly filtered my list and my 400 plus item list is now a, a much smaller list. You could also keep track of your filters down here where it, where it tells you all of the filters that have been applied. So now that we have uh, great sales ranked items, uh, I'd like, I, I typically like to look at profit as the next line item. So I could filter profit now very easily and say, I would like to see profit that is greater than or equal to $5 per item. And I'm just making up numbers for demonstration. As you can see now, we found out of a list of 400 plus items, we very quickly identified three items that have a good sales rank with a profit of $5 or more. Now let's say I also prefer items with a ROI that is greater or equal to say 35%. I could see that I filtered that even further. And you could see here at the bottom that all of our filters are shown. Um, and you can even filter further by clicking this edit filter button. And this, this, this shows you a nice view of all the filters. Uh, you could edit that view very easily by just clicking on it. You could even add new filters. I'm going to add a new filter for, let's say, package weight. I like package weight that is less than or equal to five pounds. I'm going to apply that. And as you can see, nothing happened because package weight on both of these items uh, are less than five pounds. If I change that five to a 3.31, one one of these items should go away. There you go. And we can quickly remove filtering as easily as we've added it. And you can see it's very simple, it's very efficient, and allows you to do everything you need to do right within the program and you could still use the export feature and export the uh, files uh, filtered uh, into Excel, um, or uh, you can keep it in the program, uh, whatever you choose. One really cool feature of this uh, in-app in filtering is you can actually save it and remember it as part of your grid views. So I'm gonna demonstrate how that works. I'm going to save this view with these filters as filtered test video. Now, as you can see, now I have filtered test video as one of my grid views. Now, if I go back to the one of the default grid views. Let's just pick the full view. You'll see all of the filters have gone away. 
And it's as easy as me picking this filtered test video grid view now in order to reapply all of my filters. This grid view is saved and can be used on any list that I run now into the future. I think this is pretty cool. It saves me a bunch of time. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you like it. If you have, uh, if you have suggestions, I, I would be happy to hear them. Uh, leave me a note. Send me an email like our Facebook page. Thank you for watching the video. Hope this was helpful.